Well, it's the eternal question. What makes two people attracted to each other? Lately, science has been providing some clues. And today, correspondent Jenna Wolf has the hard science of falling hard. Jenna, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah. good morning. Good. Jenna, good morning. Uh, yeah. In the, you know, in the past, internet dating sites have required you to fill out a profile and a post picture. I don't know. This is just what people tell right, me, sure. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but a new site takes it one step further, claiming that in order to find your perfect match, you need to have... Mm, let's say a sample of your DNA. Call it one of life's most elusive mysteries. Love. Hard to find, hard to keep, and did we mention hard to find? But entrepreneur Eric Hosel thinks he found the answer while watching TV, no less. They had a bunch of guys wear T-shirts for a couple of days, and then they had a bunch of girls sniff the T-shirts and rate their degree of attractiveness. And it turned out that they could predict who was going to be attracted to who uh, based on how different their immune system genes were. A dating service based on sweaty T-shirts? Yes and no. Welcome to scientificmatch.com. This isn't cheap. It's $1,995, and what you get are people with whom you maximize the chances of sharing sexual chemistry with. Sounds too, let's say, interesting to be true. It's so exciting. Beyond the usual questions about preferences and personalities, scientificmatch.com wants a piece of you, literally. So official. DNA collection kit. Beautiful. Hi, little DNA. The service looks at three of the MHC immune system genes in a client's DNA. Each gene contains two alleles. When all six alleles are different from those of a potential mate, the site considers that a perfect match. Jeffrey Kluger recently wrote about the science of romance for Time magazine. If you're looking at MHC and looking for basic compatibility, yes, that can be very helpful. But the idea that this is all going to be about DNA is, I think, overstating the power of chemistry. Do you have my results? Yes, but unfortunately, because we're so selective and we want to find you the perfect person, we have not been able to come up with such a person at this time. In fact, scientificmatch.com remains mum about any matches they may have made, so we gathered together three happy established couples to test the site for us. The physical thing was the first immediate attraction, and then the icing on the cake was that, wow, he's really smart. We have more fun together than I could ever imagine. I like the fact that she is extremely open and honest. She tells you exactly what she's thinking. We had each of our couples give a DNA sample. Two weeks later, the results were in. Of the three of you, one couple was 100% compatible. The other two weren't. Kate and RJ are 100% compatible. How about around her? <laughs> that's interesting. You guys are the only couple not married. I think we just saved our relationship. <laughs> so your initial reaction, Kate? I think it's funny. RJ? It isn't going to change my my opinion. I was already pretty sure anyway. All right. How about the other two couples, Taryn and Patrick? You guys were 67% compatible. There you go. All right, so you're in some <laughs> You passed. You passed the genetic test. I came in with no expectations. I know that Taryn's the right girl for me. We're always looking for something simple. Mm -hmm. Swab your mouth and you'll find your mate. But at the end of the day, I, I think that you do have to go through the ups and downs and be social. And I think that this takes that out of that. Pete, you are not in your head. You guys were also 67% compatible. What do you think? Who cares? <laughs> I have 17 great years, best years of my life to prove science wrong. Happy to report all the couples are still together whether their DNA matched or not. And right now this is only taking place in the Boston and Providence area. So <laughs> they're going to How'd you do? How'd you do? Huh? Did you get a match? They did it. Sadly enough, and I don't know how this happened, they didn't find a match for me. But they are having a Valentine's Day special only $995 just for the month wow. of February. Wow. So they, if, you, if any of you guys are unhappy in your current state yeah, of affairs. It's annoying. <laughs> don't you find it a little annoying, this science, budding into romance? I think this romance. is so romantic. <laughs> how could you not find that? Sexy. All the men yeah. are watching. You do that. People are lining up right here. Yeah, don't worry. We thought that when Ian Curry said I was single last week, and I didn't get one.